Mm -mm -mm -mm. Is my support gonna swap? Probably not. Aurelion Soul into Yon. It's horrible though. Ah, I regret picking it. They have Yon. Into Yon is like the worst champ to pick. I hope it's Yon top because into Yon meat, I don't like Aurelion Soul that much. Let's see what I'm playing against. I mean, they have last pick. It might be Yon. It might be Yon top lane. Zara Cho. Okay, we pick double AP after locked in Asol, but I don't think it's gonna matter that much. Like, enemy comp seems to not be like. They don't have a very oppressive MR stacker so far. Let's see uh, who their last pick is. Middle meta seems boring right now. Yeah, middle meta is really bad right now. Did you listen to future Metro Boomin album and what do you think about this song? Well, okay. I listen. I can give you my opinion, but a lot of people are not gonna like it. You're right, it was bad. No, the song like that, like, like, okay, this is my opinion. And obviously a lot of you guys are not gonna agree, but personally, I cannot listen to any song Future is on because I don't like anything he says or does or just his voice in general. Now for Kendrick Lamar's part, I think it's really good. Like, I don't know what else to say. And the beat of the song is insane as well, because, well, Metro Booming, I think, is, like, really good producer. That's what I think, but... Hey, you guys can have any opinion you want. If you disagree, you disagree. Um... Yeah, okay. Well, I'm against you on... Darkness is my only true enemy. Music is subjective? Definitely. Music is subjective. Like, we all have artists we like listening to and artists we don't like listening to. Alright, so here's how this Yon matchup goes, okay? Early game you're fine, and you kind of want to spike on Rale as fast as possible, but then you have to be constantly very careful of Yon EQ. Because if Yon gets an EQ on top of you and he has like Kraken or whatever, he melts you really fast. And this is why, historically speaking, Yon is one of the toughest ASL matchups because Yon kind of matches your scaling while in lane and then once he reaches like one or two items he can really like start just, you know, mowing it down. Now we also have Jarvan which is not the best jung jungler into Yon because Yon is very mobile and then Jarvan's cage and stuff is not that impactful into him. Oh, I didn't get mana flow. I need that mana flow. Thank you Jeon for the sub. I don't know how to say her name. So you wanna be basically queuing for Comet procs and queuing for a little bit for mana flows all the time, as I so. Because it basically doesn't cost you like any almost any mana. Nice plus two stacks. That's pretty good. He's gonna ward topside. Well, that ward is really bad by him because it technically gives him like nothing. He's gonna leave that minion, I can't get it. Yeah, he missed the bush as a ward. I have 150 mana flow stacks already. It's not too shabby. Right now, like, you just wait, you watch your bar, mana flow comes up, and boom, you Q, and you get mana flow. And the, the rune is almost fully stacked already, and we're only three minutes into the game. When you play against, like, champs like Yon or Zaisal, you're very team-reliant in a lot of cases, because it's really hard to kill Yon yourself. But you kind of want someone to usually like CC Yon for you and then you can just queue him down. Especially in later ranks. You can like kill Yon pretty fast. He's a squishy character with like a lot of damage. Right now I need one more mana flow and I will have the rune already. Fully stacked which is like amazing. It gives me let's say about 350 gold of value. Plus a little bit more because of mana region. An ally has 
Enemy vehicle gang bottom. Can't really kill. Yeah, that's uh, that's just a uh, young thing. He's very very mobile. He had the uh, key stacks there. Everyone is playing this new Yon skin. I mean, I can't blame them. It's kind of amazing. Not gonna lie, it's like one of the best skins in the game, personally. Alright, we're gonna match base here. Not too bad. I'm pretty happy with the lane so far. But uh, we can't get ahead of ourselves because this matchup, again, it's gonna just become harder and harder. It's just gonna get harder and harder each minute that passes. Early levels are the easiest levels of this matchup. Uh, he did use TP, but he used it a bit late because he was probably waiting for Berserker's gold. Not sure if buying boots, uh, which is what I did, is a correct play, because boots are really bad into your own. I mean, they don't really do anything. Okay, gonna walk the dragon now. I mean, that's just not very good for me, right? We're trying to force Dragon, but... I cannot... Back, back, this is a bad Dragon. Like, I can't really do anything there. Um, Yon just goes at you with EQ and... Yeah, my champion just gets destroyed. The Dragon Call is just bad, I think. Um, there. I don't really know how we can even contest that, like, we don't do enough damage, it takes too long to do. Mid and jungle. No, I don't think it has anything to do with mid lane, I'm gonna be honest. It has nothing to do with mid lane. I mean, that's just, like, wrong to put any blame on me here. Well, Jarvan is not taking any responsibility either. So whose fault is it then, guys? Whose fault is it, lads? Failed mid ganks. That's not true. The mid gank was not a fail. We took Yon's HP. I mean, if you consider a gank that you take HP of enemy a fail, then you should never go mid because realistically speaking, we never had a chance to kill him there. So again, uh, what is Blood saying? Like, actually, what is this guy saying, huh? A few more basic elements, I could really He's not making any sense. Like, we have Aesol, your matchup, Aesol just wants to scale. Usually you want to gank for Aesol when Aesol hits Riley. So how are we saying it's a failed mid gank? I never even asked for a gank, nor did I need a gank in that moment when he went mid. So obviously the guy is taking no responsibility for his mistakes. It's gonna be a, a slow game for me. Just gotta farm, not much else to do. Gotta farm and then hopefully I can spike and catch people off later in the game. Matchup is getting a bit annoying already. Matchup is getting a little bit annoying now. It's just Quiver Boots. I'm gonna have to take an Allen base here and give him a plate and lose a, a minion wave. 
We're gonna wait 400G, then we're gonna become a champion with Raleigh. Going even for Aesil is winning in this matchup. Yeah. Going even is your goal as Aesil in this matchup, but if the young player is good, you're probably gonna fall behind at some point. Aesil is a very, very good comeback champion in solo queue because people do not close out games well. And, well, we all know that his scaling is very, very insane. Oh, I got ganked, so my flash is gone. It's gonna be hard to leave the next gank. Ignited as well. My goal right now is to just farm 200G, uh, wait for TP and then uh, TP, something. TP back to lane. Okay, 50 seconds TP. Level 9 now. Level 9, scale link. So now that you're level 9, you can do this combo, which is just E the wave right in front of your tower, so the tower doesn't kill any minion. And then you just basically um, Q the whole wave down and get all the minions. Yon could be bot. Yep, Yon is bot. I need to get my Rally Spike. Uh, looks like we lose the bot fight. I assume my teammates are going to be very, very tilted now. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's go. Bot is open. I'm not going bot anymore. Okay. Why not push next wave there? Because uh, you want to get Rally ASAP. So you're active in the map. Well, um, unfortunately, guys, I will not be playing on mi uh, solo on mid lane anymore, as we have an imposter. Oh, hello? Anybody? But support chase him. Like I, yeah, yeah. And now Silver goes, but I'm getting trolled. Okay, low mana. Um. I'm thinking maybe I should have done tier in this lane, just because it's like a kind of like a hard matchup and the only way you play is you use mana a lot. But I didn't go tier this time, so I can't take it back now. Alright, we're gonna go for this. Our bot. Yon could be going bot, I need to go ASAP, I can't be clearing the pink right now. I'm not gonna W because I know she's gonna die before I can fly there. I don't really have a kill participation yet, but such is life. I'm almost dead. I'm almost, almost dead. Okay, I have the big ult. Xiver wants to go mid. Okay, I'm gonna base right here. Wait five seconds for home guards, then I run botland. Or he wants me to go top lane? I guess I could go top lane as well now. Yeah. 
You guys saw why this matchup is hard uh, right there when you want ease on you and just case you super super fast. The strength of Aesol is that you buy Rale, so you're kind of tanky as a mage. Um, but Yon is just... Yon just has a lot of damage in the kit. He's out. I'm not gonna chase. Ghost is just too, too fast. Will not be able to catch her. How do you know when you're getting home guard? Minute 14. Every game at 14 minutes. Okay, that looks like a decent fight. I still don't have any kill participation. Unfortunately, I'm just playing my own game right now because it is very important to have a lot of resources on ASL. Because once late game comes, your champion is a monster. Also, that was a bad day by me. That was a bad day by me. So I'm not gonna play, you know, in an unoptimal way. <laughs> Lul. I think I'm supposed to get a plant here and then push the wave top fast. One kill participation. I love it. I'm in the game, baby. I'm gonna wait for E and push this one too. Actually, I should just get the tower now that we're at it. Yon could be top soon. But I have my W now. Goodbye. I'm gonna take the blue now. Really need blue because I don't play tier. Well, our receiver does seem to be pretty strong. Okay. The story is probably true. Choi, I think he's just like in the wrong location. He's playing weak side right now and he should know enemy is all topside. Uh this is just a mistake by him. <laughs> Mechanically outplayed. Mechanically outplayed. Oh, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Boom, and now I go top. One of the shanks about, uh, uh, of Aesol is like how easy it is to chase down kills in a winning fight. If you're winning fight, then you're just gonna get a reset off and a reset off and a reset off, kind of like Ari. And then your W and Riley slow is just so good at chasing down people. Uh, we need one more wave, and then we have Lianji. Uh, he's mostly like a two, I two items, I would say. is like the amount of items that Ace is kind of like a pretty strong champ already. Bad old Bemi. Actually, bad old Bemi.
Chorgat is getting a bit kited. I'll base and then I'll look to TP, but maybe I want to TP bot to defend this tower. Ah, Gwen will get it before my TP goes off, actually. Uh, I'm not gonna TP, I'm just gonna go bot and defend normally. They're way too far up and like I could TP here maybe and then kill them. Yeah, I could actually. Maybe I should have, honestly. Maybe I should have TP it like that. There's no Jinx, it's just gonna kill everyone. I think it might be my mistake. You can always check bushes with your Q. Are you going frozen hard? No, I'm not going frozen hard. I'm just gonna keep going AP items because I will nuke enemy team. They have no MR almost. I mean, this guy is buying some right now, but it's not gonna be a lot. You can see that even though I had a pretty rough early game, I managed to stabilize the game. And I'm able to farm waves quite easily and I'm able to always join fights if I want to. Like right now, I think I'll just come in and ride like this guy down and now I get a reset. I could look for more, but I also know Gwen might be coming. Barn is a pretty safe player right now. He's also, like, also a very, very good champion at doing objectives like Barn and Dragon. One of the best middlers in the game, mid laners in the game for that. Basically, Aso is like the king of comebacks in solo queue. The king of late game. His win rate also is really, really high in late game. And my... I just realized I have no mana, so I think this blue is not gonna work. It's not gonna work. We're gonna have to do it again. I'm gonna go there again. Like, I'm gonna be late for Dragon, I'm very sorry for that, but I don't think this Dragon is very important, so if enemy team goes there right now as 5, we should just give it. And go fully top set. It's hard to say that to my team though, because I already know that if enemy team was there right now, they would, my team would just fight. 4v5. Because it's solo queue. I think we should just go mid and bot. So it's very easy to to play marker in solo queue. You just go two lanes usually because it's way safer than three lanes. As three lanes you can get picked up apart way easier. So you just go like this and then you do this and then you engage for your team and then enemy ADC dies. I don't wanna die! Alright, I'm good. I'll quickly base. Not that enemy jinx is that, my team will be 4v4 worst case, which is fine. And I'll probably just go top. Or maybe I just run mid again, and I slowly can end, yeah. We're gonna go mid. So what are the most important things when it comes to ASL, guys? Having good mental. Because your champ is all about late game. Legit, like, the amount of games ASL can win ch uh, games, even though you, you go 0-20 in the early game. You would be surprised how high the amount of games that, it, you know? be one like that on this champion what do you think about horizon focus on asl it's decent because um it gives you 10 percent um die horizon focus gives you 10 percent damage increase which is a lot 10 percent damage increase is a lot yeah stacks up well with like items like leonji also that you have in your build i didn't do a lot this game but that's how asl works you don't have to do a lot to win the game